Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie, Editor-in-Chief at TheServerSide.com, and I want to talk to you about a merge where no Fs are given. I want to specifically talk about the no FF, no fast forward merge, what it is, and how it compares to a typical fast forward merge in Git. As you can see, we have two active branches going on here in this Git repository. We have the master branch, which had two commits on it, at which point we created the feature branch, which then had one, two, three, four, five, six different commits on it. But as we started working on the feature branch, there were no new commits on the master branch. So for all intents and purposes, this whole commit history is linear. And really, the fact that we created a branch is almost irrelevant. Now, if we were to do a merge between those different branches right now, the merge would look linear. It would do a fast forward merge and it would eliminate any of the branching history. But I'd like to show you what happens when you do a fast forward merge instead. So I'm going to open up my git bash shell here. I'm currently in the master branch and if I did a switch to the feature branch you would see that there are a number of other files on that feature branch. But I'm going to get back to the master branch because that's what I'm going to merge the feature branch into. And I'm also going to do a git log one line graph all going to show you once again what that commit history looks like. Again, we had two commits on the master branch, that's where master is, but then we created a feature branch, but we just continued doing development. There really wasn't anything going on in the master branch which created any nice visual branching. But if we do a git merge from the master, we merge in the feature branch, and we use the no ffs given, no ff. The merge will happen. This is not a difficult merge to do, but it does not do a fast forward merge. And so if we now look at this git commit history, you'll actually see that we've got branching here. You actually see that we have the master branch. It demonstrates a movement onto the feature branch. And then we see the commit where the feature and the master branch are merged together. The commit history is not linear like this. And in fact, if we actually open up a new git GUI window and we try and visualize all branch history, you will again see that nice branched history. Now that's usually what we expect when we see a branch history, especially when we have multiple branches and merge them together. But let me show you what happens when you don't do a no FF merge. So going back here to the looking at the history I'm going to do a reset to put my environment back into the state that it was before the merge. And that means doing a hard reset back to that commit. So bear with me as I do a git hard reset to EC5844C. And now if I do my git commit history, once again, you'll notice I'm back to that linear history that I was at before. So just a little trick there, but I'm back up here um, because I undid that merge. Now I want to show you what happens if I do a git merge and I merge that feature branch in but I don't use the no ff option. Here we go. We end up doing a fast forward merge but look what happens to the git commit history. It's linear once again. And as far as these branches go, it almost looks like there was no, no branching happening at all. In fact, if we take a look at the Git GUI and we say, hey, now let's visualize the branch history given the fact that we did not do a no fast forward merge, you notice that the commit history is indeed completely linear. And we've kind of lost all history of the fact that there was actually any branching here. And so this is the result of doing a no FF merge. What we end up getting is this visual branching history where there's respect for all of the branches that were created and the commits that were created on those branch. When we do a fast forward merge, what happens is we lose that branching history. Instead, all of those commits that happened without another commit happening on the other branch are just stacked up one on top of each other and we end up getting a nice linear history. And there you go. That is the essential difference between a no FF merge, which you see right here, and a fast forward merge, which flattens the commit history.
Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Git, DevOps tools, enterprise development, and other great stuff. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can always follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And please, why don't you subscribe on the YouTube?